We are sitting in the Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow, Russia, in front of Ilya Repin's unexpected return from 1884 to 1888. Um, I've also seen this translated as, they did not expect him. And we have uh, a group of figures, uh, a guy that has just walked in a door, a servant woman behind him opening the door for him, uh, a woman standing up suddenly out of her chair that's in the very foreground, um, and three children um, towards behind him. And they are all very surprised to have seen him because they did not expect him. <laughs> The boy seems very happy, and the, the younger girl seems a little frightened mm -hmm. or hesitant. Hesitant, yes, that's very true. And the woman, you can't see her face, but it's, it's like she's glaring at him, like, how dare you have done this to me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is 1884 to 1888. Now, the Russian Revolution happens the, the final one that we know about, you know, that we think about the Russian Revolution, it's 1917. But in fact, there were two revolutions prior to that. There was one, um, the one we know about is the October Revolution, October 1917. There was one previously in 1917. There was also one in 1905. In the late 1900s, so 1880s, 1890s, the political atmosphere was brewing that eventually led to these revolutions. Uh, and this guy is depicted, who is depicted, is probably a revolutionary. Someone who is interested in toppling the Tsarist government, in creating a democracy, something that is more fair for the whole of Russian people, uh, as opposed to the Tsarist regime, which was so decadent and opulent and while the peasants were starving. So there were a lot of people, primarily of the middle upper class, as revolutionaries tend to be, um, with, with a little bit of money. So they, they do have a servant here. Um, they have a piano. They have a piano, uh, but they're, they're, in, they're able to dedicate themselves to thinking about uh, the higher ideals in life and have come to the conclusion that the higher ideals in life mean if, if one is to really pursue those, then that means one is to dedicate oneself to creating a better life for all people. Uh, so they also have a world view, I think, because they've got a huge map on the wall. Exactly. They have some sort of... And some books on mm -hmm. the table. So they're educated. They are thinking people. Mm -hmm. They're not um, um, laborers. They're definitely not laborers. What has probably happened is that in some of his revolutionary activities, he was arrested. Uh, and uh, suddenly, he comes home. And they didn't expect that he would be released. So, of course, his, his wife or sister, whoever she is, is very angry with him because he has done this to their family. He has caused them to not have the father figure, uh, the main income earner, to be in their family. He allowed himself to get arrested. He allowed himself to get arrested. Uh, whether or not she sympathizes with his ideals or not, um, there's a, a certain practical matter of, of existing, of living, um, of raising children that he, he has somewhat abandoned them for, for these revolutionary ideals. So there is that sense of, of, of tension in this painting. Um, the space between her face and his face, clearly their eyes are meeting. Um, it's, it's very, very tense, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, very happy in a certain way. Like, we actually get to see each other again. We didn't know if we would ever see each other again. Um, I think it's interesting that the children are observing this interaction and they're probably learning from it. <laughs> and trying to decide what their next, what they should do. Should they jump up and give them a, give them a hug? Should they sit back? Is she going to yell at him? <laughs> you know, and the servant, the servant girl in the back and the one behind her are both cowering back like, what is she going to do? Something that I noticed about Rapin's um, painting, which has nothing to do with its meaning perhaps, but I, I've noticed it in several things we've looked at, is that 
um, the floor and the walls were painted before the figures. And mm. clearly, they were inserted into the picture after the house was built. So many pieces we've seen on this trip, the, the figures were built or painted and then the floor was painted up to them mm -hmm. or the wall was mm -hmm. painted up to them. This one, the house was built first mm -hmm. and then the figures were put into it. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's, uh, that's a sign of good art mm. because you don't see the, the painter trying to make it look like he did it later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's a real attention to detail yes. and to the, yes. the atmosphere of, of the situation. And actually something that, um, that I've read is that on the wall behind her head, mm -hmm. there are some, some photographs. Um, and at least one of those photographs can be identified as um, the image of another revolutionary. Oh. Uh, so, so that attention to, to the atmosphere, to the detail, uh, I think is very key to, to Rapin's work.